Uh, all right, let's talk to a theist named Howard, also from Spain. I don't know why we have so many uh, foreign That's callers. Exciting. Today. I don't know what's going on with the uh, Europe is is lighting up our lines. But go ahead, it's Howard. Popping over here. You're on the line with Jimmy and Eve. Thank you. Um, my question is: Are you not skeptical about the choosing of candidates and also the system in general? If I can quickly elaborate. Go ahead. It, thank you. It seems like the choosing of candidates is kind of a small or even closed circle. Obviously, there's different theories, like it's if you're in a circle. Yep, you've frozen up. It'll be that he got a phone call and it bothered his browser, and now let's see what happens. Can you hear me? I hear you now. Hey, can you also back off from your cool. microphone a little bit? You're coming in real hot. Sorry about that. Is that better? Not really. Are you on speakerphone? I'll, I'll Can we hold... change off of speakerphone to something else? Uh, I, it's, I'm on headphones. I'll hold it as far away as possible. All right. So my question is, um, the system in general seems obsolete as we've had so many advances in technology. We've got things like Facebook, where we can vote for things that we like, dislike, and put our own comments, our own ideas. So isn't it about time that we had a political uh, platform that where we can vote for our own ideas instead of having people to represent us that might be compromised? It seems like the system's obsolete. Are you calling in to say that in response to the news that Biden is dropping in the next three months, we should get rid of the current presidential <laughs> system and switch to a pure democracy where there's no representatives and people vote for everything every time. Is that your point, Howard? I'm, I'm not saying we can't have representatives, but that they should, shouldn't have so much power. And it's not something that we can change overnight, but I don't see the harm in sharing ideas now. Just like the idea of sharing ideas. So are on you a actually on topic now, Howard? Similar to Facebook. Is this actually about the presidential election or are you just trying to call in and say and hope that I don't remember, first of all, who you are? And then if I don't remember, just hear out your political positions. Uh, I'm fine that you remember who I am. You told me that it was OK for me to call back. Yeah. It was only Matt that doesn't want to speak to me. I don't mind talking to you. I, cool. say, I you. just thought maybe you would you would go if I'm going to call into a show about skepticism and this one politics and try to advocate and have a speech. Uh, is there going to be a fair place bias from the people I'm calling to talk to because I think that the earth is on a pizza? Yeah, well, you know, if you want to get into that, that's cool. But my point, my question was, are you not skeptical about I'm how the skeptical. candidates seem to always be? Howard, I'm a socialist. You froze out again, by the way. Come back. Howard, come back. Or don't. I don't really care. But Can, can yeah. you hear me? I hear you again. Howard, of course I'm skeptical. I'm a socialist. I'm literally voting for the lesser of two evils. But one of them is a steaming giant cauldron of diarrhea. And the other is like a small piece of white dog shit. And if I have to pick which one I'm going to guzzle down, I'm going for the chihuahua turd. I'm not going for the collection. That was too visceral. I'm yeah, sorry, everybody. Yeah, we... we we have to work with what we've got right now. We're on such limited time. Changing an entire system is not going to happen between now and November, unfortunately. And we, you're right. We can still have no, thoughts I, I, and discussions I, and ideas I, about skepticism toward the rest of the system and, and all of that. That's true. But that is not, that is not the focus right now, um, nor can it be, at least for me, um, because it's honestly at this point a tiny bit of a distraction when you look at how fast things are happening right now. I literally advocate for abolishing the presidency. So I, I, I don't know. Sure. Right. I don't know what you're necessarily on about, but go on, go ahead, Howard. Thanks. It's I, I'm, I'm sure I mentioned it. Um, oh no, that was in a debate with Matt. I didn't sell you myself. Um, I used to be a Freemason and I'm sure that you guys are aware that certain presidents have been in skull and bones from going to Yale and stuff. So the, the whole idea of a two, two different parties being opposing, there's a chance that they actually might all be um, working together for a bigger goal. I know it sounds like a conspiracy theory, but secret societies are a real thing. And uh, 
they do have agendas Howard, again, and it, it makes you wonder if people can be corrupted. The, you're on the wrong, you're on, you're calling the wrong show. If you want me to sit here and listen to somebody who believes in flat earth and their conspiracies about the secret societies, Howard, I'm sorry. You just don't do it for me. Uh, and, and, you know, I know that that's a little bit of a genetic fallacy. If I were to just say your argument is wrong because it's coming from you. So know that what I'm saying right now, isn't about your argument, but about your credibility generally in this topic. It's just hard for me to get past that. In all, in all fairness, Jimmy, I'm asking if, why, are you, why is your skepticism selective? We know that secret societies exist. But Jimmy just told you that, that he does have politicians but, but are Jimmy just told you Jimmy already told you that he does have skepticism about the way our systems work. We both do. We are allowed to have opinions about what's currently happening in the systems that are already in place and what we're working with and apply skepticism. And we can also have skepticism without jumping to, therefore, massive conspiracy theory. And this is what it is. Yeah, Howard, first of all, my skepticism isn't selective. Uh, and again, I'm certainly not going to hear that lecture from a flat earther. But even if, if to your actual point about secret societies, it's because I actually know how to apply Occam's razor. And while I certainly am always going to remain skeptical, I don't have to worry that there are secret societies working toward a goal when it is clear that there are non-secret societies doing it, when it is clear that they are openly and loudly trying to propagate their religion of capitalism, when they are clearly just trying to uh, fix a very small group of problems and put band-aids on things that are giant gashing open wounds or acting like a, uh, another metaphor would be like the Democrats are pretending when they mend a little hole in the ear, they've just uh, solved a head wound. Uh, uh, I don't know why that one's in my mind right now, but something must have set it off there. Uh, Howard, it's, it doesn't, I don't need a conspiracy for why these people keep doing things I disagree with because they do it out in the open and I know which groups they are a part of loudly a part of. And so sure, there are times where we get a little revelation like, oh, do you see these emails the DNC were sending? As though emails between individuals is some massive secret conspiracy or that anybody who has half a brain can't already figure out that the Democrats are going to put in one of their guys instead of a person who is in the ind who is an independent and not a Democrat. I, I don't need conspiracies for any of these things, Howard. However, I think that based on my interactions with you, you have a desire to see conspiracies wherever you can. Well, in all fairness, I'm sure that you didn't say it on purpose, but just to remind you and the listeners, I'm not a flat earther. Right, yes, but I'm you are, though. I'm a globe skeptic. Right. I don't know no. what shape earth is. I'm yeah. not really interested in preaching yeah. beliefs. I, I, hey, I'm uh, investigating, knowledge is a but subset I'm not of belief. A model. Knowledge is a subset of belief, and, and a belief becomes knowledge when it's demonstrable. It's basically where the Venn diagram between fact and, no and belief intersect. Uh, it is a demonstrable thing. Yep. And for you to, in 2024, brag that you, quote, unquote, don't know what the shape of the earth is, despite the fact that all the information is there and yet you want to bring it out and try and challenge it, Howard, shows that it's not my skepticism. Skepticism doesn't mean I'm skeptical of everything and I will never accept any reality. I'm more of a skeptic because I question things other people have accepted as fact. Skepticism means waiting to accept something as a belief until it has warrant, until it is fleshed out. And Howard, the flat earth, or sorry, your globe skepticism is Thank not you. actual skepticism. No, I, it was a joke, Howard. You're obviously a flat earther. At this point, to not okay. accept the oblique spheroid that the earth is, I don't believe for a moment that you're like, I'm just agnostic about the shape of the earth. It could be. I, if anything, Howard, my best charitable thing I could give you is that you're hoping to get one of those free trips to Antarctica or to space because somebody will be so mad that they'll be willing to spend thousands to millions of dollars to prove it to you. That's my best. That's like the best version of advocating for what you're doing. I can get come up with. No, I just uh, I appreciate look, you're entitled to your opinion, but I, I didn't I, express an opinion quickly, at any point. during I value, All of that was a I fact. value. 
I, okay, in your opinion, nope. I value primary observations over secondary information. So I think skepticism is justifiable because all pr primary observations that support uh, a globe lie, but I don't believe a flat earth because that's 2D. I'm more open to earth being higher dimensional. Uh -huh. And a that's pizza. Where, you it's know, a, we can, we it's can't a piece see infrared of pizza that transfers. Hey, why do you believe in things. God, Howard? And by the way, actually, you before that, I have to know, Howard, who stole your pronouns? Where'd they go? I um I have nothing you, I have nothing against people that want to promote um their, their pronouns. I personally look into the social experiment from Jane Elliott. I recommend everyone look into that. Um, where the blue eyes versus the brown eyes in the classroom. It created like a racism within classes when um, Hey watch she, this she Howard. Hey what, Howard watch this. Blue eyes watch this. Better, watch this Howard. Hey watch this Howard. Hey Eve, what color are your eyes? Oh, you're muted. They're they're very very brown. Yeah, mine well, they're are like blue. almost black. Mine are blue. Do you want to murder me now? I really want to murder you. It, oh, I hate you. Not you brown of your eyed eyes. asshole. Uh, <laughs> Howard, if somebody just asks you what your pronouns are, no, but you, see you are I'm creating an, a division. No, no, but I, shut I up, Howard. No, 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 no. You don't get it. You don't get to talk over me and say no, no, no. Right now, we run a show. Sorry. And the fact of the matter is, is most of the discussion about the show will be directed or will rather be had by third member parties who are going to use pronouns. Howard, if trans people didn't exist yeah. or if tomorrow they decided, hey, guys, we don't need to be doing all of this. I would still continue to put pronouns on the show because, Howard, we can't see you. We don't know for right. sure. And there will be people who talk about this call as they are doing right now in the live chat. And will in the comments who don't want to just keep saying Howard, where a short pronoun like he or she or they would be there. But the fact of the matter is, Howard, you're in our house and you can extend a minimum amount of politeness and just, I don't know. I, anyway, the, the whole point of this was you made an ideological point. I just wanted to make a joke that you declared your pronouns as none, which suggests to me somebody took them from you. That was all I wanted to do here. I don't actually care if you don't want to share your uh -huh. pronouns. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying that I, I've seen a lot of division and a lot of arguing over this topic, and I think it's like racism. The more we focus on, but do you not think that your, but do you not causes. think that your, do you not think that your refusal to give pronouns, which I'm assuming you use pronouns all the time, every day. I mean, I've heard you use them in this conversation. I'm assuming there are pronouns that you um, have used towards you. Is your refusal to give those not also playing into that same divisiveness instead of just saying okay this is something they ask on this show i can just say them because that's no problem it feels like you're playing into the game you're speaking well, out against I, I i respect um your point but the reason i disagree with it is because i'm not against anyone that wants to declare their pronouns and wants to be called a specific way uh, declaring such but as I don't mind, and I personally think it's better to not focus on our differences. Uh, but here we are focusing the on them Elliott, because... Uh, social experiment that I mentioned. Right, but here we are focusing on them now because of that, when it would have not even been something noticeable at all otherwise. Because there actually is a lot of help yeah, but, to knowing, in, to having okay. those... Because like Jimmy said, we can't see you, we don't know. And I have unintentionally... Uh, used incorrect pronouns when talking to somebody because I didn't have them and then they got upset because I was going based off of the sound of their voice and okay. I used my own misjudgment and um, hurt someone's feelings and that's not fun. This is an easy way for us to just be kind to other people and it's not that difficult. So it really feels like you're doing the very thing you're accusing others of by not just like that's such an easy answer to give. You know, I understand if you're not wanting to walk around with a name tag with your pronouns on it, that's totally fine. But when you, like Jimmy said, when you're in our home or when you are asked something, I don't understand. It feels like a protest to deny the response. By the way, I can actually no, prove I, that, I, I, Howard, hang on, said, before you go, I can actually prove uh, what I was saying about us valuing because it is the call. I'm going to show you something on the, all right, can you see the screen, Howard? I don't know how d much of delay there is. No, I'm I'm on my I'm on my mobile, but I can okay. have a look later. Well, if, if you I want. put the name tags up, you'll notice we don't include our pronouns because we're comfortable with people assuming from context clues. 
But if somebody said, hey, mm -hmm. could you include, by the way, if somebody came on and said, could you include that my pronouns, not only would I include theirs, I would then add mine also to make sure that it didn't seem like we were trying to other them or make them the one that felt like different, that they're the one. But so I've just put the name tags up. It is legitimately because we do not have adequate context clues and that it actually is functionally excellent to have. I don't put my pronouns on my name tags. If you can't figure out from this that I'm probably a he, him, I don't know what to tell you. I think I present as a he, him. It's pretty obvious. Now, if somebody asked and just said, I actually still don't feel comfortable, I want to know in advance. Fine. That's fine. Somebody basically saying to me, I want to make sure I'm not about to disrespect you doesn't offend me at all. And so when we say, hey, Howard, we'd like your pronouns to be sure nobody disrespects you. And you bring up a scientific experiment that shows that uh, you can create racism on the color of eyes when you are dramatically stretching that conclusion to fit in when you haven't demonstrated that it's a one-to-one -one analogy or even a 50-to-one analogy. You're just saying there's something over here that I think support it. Therefore, A is equal to B, even though I've made no such demonstration. Howard, I just can't imagine all of these people where it's like, how dare you ask my pronouns? I'm so sorry we tried to insist on making sure you're respected. Our bad. But again, this is all in response to a joke. And to tell you the truth, it's pretty boring. So uh, why, don't, why don't you give your last point there, Howard, and we're going to move on. Can't hear you, Evan. Uh, Evan. Howard. Can't hear you. <laughs> that was... Oh, he dropped. Oh, dropped. Oh, he lost right. connection. I'll pull him back in. Go ahead, Howard. I, I pulled you back up to us. Give your last point. We're going to move on. Yeah, thank you. Uh, see, yeah, I, I didn't. I don't have any problem with you using them or anyone that wants to know. In in when they ask me, it, I just I'm a I'm a bit, little bit against the show making such a big but deal out of it. You. Uh, especially when it's I've not said making none, a big deal. it means that I didn't really have a preference, but because you've brought it up and you've made a division, it kind of proves my point that it's just causing arguments Howard, no, 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 for no, no, people no. that Howard, don't have a preference. Howard, I made a joke and then everything that followed was in response to your response. And yes, you're in our house. If you come into my house yes. and the rules say, take your shoes off at the door and you decide to keep your shoes on, and walk in the house and walk around the house. And then I make a joke about, oh, thanks, man, for obeying the rules about the... Do oh, I just can't believe you're making a big deal out of this. You could have just said nothing. We could have just moved on. You're in my house, fucker. We're not going to move on. Take your shoes off at the door. I, I, I apologize. I apologize. I didn't know it was a rule. I thought the option to give none was, was clear enough that I don't have a preference. But if I'm to call back, I'll just say he, him. Because I, I don't have any... Appreciate it. Yeah, that's great. That's Thanks, super Alex. easy. Welcome. And that makes our job easier. That's perfect. You'll be respected and then it's not a controversy. <laughs> and we'll be slightly less cool. annoyed with the fact that you're secretly a flat earther. Thanks, Howard. Talk <laughs> to you later. Can I throw in a, the can I throw in a theistic argument uh, t for you to consider? And I'll call back another day to ask what you think about it. Nope, because I've already got somebody else wanting to do that. And I'm wanting to fair get enough, to that call. Fair enough. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> Thank I'll you. I'll be back. All right, bye. All right. That's a threat. <laughs> bye, Howard. Bye. Thank you. I'm sure he will. <laughs> I'm positive he will. Uh, any thoughts before we uh, before we move on? I'm totally no, not stalling Howard should I don't call, have name tags ready. Howard should call on a Tuesday night sometime because I don't have theist callers on Tuesday nights over on Chewed Gum. Um, I don't know if everyone's afraid of me. I'm not really sure what's happening, but they won't call. They'll be in my Facebook comments all day long, and then suddenly, radio silence on Tuesday nights. So They're scared So, Howard, you. if you have a theistic argument, call on a Tuesday night. Would love In it. fairness, you are a fierce debater, and I would also be afraid. Hello, I'm Jimmy Snow, Pokemon master and executive producer on the line. Would you like to support a specific show on the line or the line in general? There are special tiers on our Patreon and in our channel memberships. You can do just that. By the way, you could consider leaving a super thanks down below. You could also like, subscribe, and leave a regular comment. All of these are great. Now, I'm going to get back to crushing loneliness, but while I do that, why don't you check out one of these?